Uh, so I'm Jude Bambra, I'm 21 years old. I'm Anish Prabhu, uh, I'm second year dentist. Okay, hi, my, my name is Menaz Rosai. Hi, my name is Imi and I'm a second year dentist. Okay, so our first question is, have you had COVID? And if so, what was it like? Or have you had any COVID scares? So I've had a few COVID scares because it's really strange because lots of the people on my course have had COVID, but I've been lucky enough not to get it. Um, no, I haven't had COVID myself, but because I work as a healthcare assistant, I go into care homes and sometimes it is a COVID positive home, but I'm quite careful. Um, so I haven't contracted it yet. I had a few COVID scares, but my friends got tested and they were negative. So it was all good. Yeah, me too. Um, I had a lot of scares, but I've never actually had the virus itself. So fingers crossed it remains the same way. Okay. So how are you notified that you had to get the vaccine or why are you eligible because most people our age aren't? Uh, so because we're healthcare workers and we see patients frontline, um, the dental school sent out a mass email to us all and made it. I'm not sure if it's compulsory, but they said to us we should all get the vaccine. Um, and we had to book in slots um, through that. So I didn't know this, but if you're if you if you if you're studying a like a healthcare course, then you'd be eligible for it. But before that, I because like I said, I am a healthcare assistant. I was eligible for that anyway. Because I'm in second year now, it's kind of a transition year into patient care when you'll be treating members of the public and coming into contact with a lot more people than a normal student would. And just because you've got that level of contact that maybe a student doing a non-healthcare based subject um, wouldn't, um, which is why we were eligible. Which vaccine did you get? So I had the Pfizer vaccine. I know it's really bad, but I don't actually know. Oh, okay. I think it's the Pfizer one. We both got the Pfizer vaccine. Um, so could you describe the vaccination process for us? Like how was the vaccination centre like? Was it socially distanced? And then did the jab itself hurt? So both me and Edge, uh, we went to the NHS education building. We lined up in in one of the one of the waiting rooms, and we were then taken to like a consultant room. We were given the jab. I don't think anyone complained of it being painful at the time. So um, yeah, it was it was quite a standard procedure. And the thing I liked the most was before I had my vaccine, they were so, so thorough with just telling you what's going on, what the vaccine is, if you have any allergies. They were so attentive to your needs, um, see if you were worried, just really kind and calm, which is kind of what I need. Oh yeah, everything was um, like very, very standardised. Um, the jab, I'm scared of needles, so the jab did hurt for me. But um, if, you're, if you're not, it's just a normal vaccination. If you've had the flu vaccine, before that's literally how it is you like described the couple days after the vaccination did you get like any symptoms or anything uh yeah so um what, when we went in they gave us a list of the potential symptoms we'd get short term and long term um and i pretty much experienced every single one of them um but maybe one uh so had a really bad like fever uh for the night so i couldn't sleep um my arms started aching quite a bit uh did feel quite nauseous and dizzy during the night um yeah so wasn't the most pleasant for a few days um but then it's like after about two days it started to fade away it also made you very very tired like very fatigued uh no mine mine was um not that bad i came home i was expecting my arm to ache straight away but that wasn't the, the case at all um i think the side effects started around midnight and I just had a, a bad arm. It was just, it was, it kind of felt like somebody had punched me. And that stayed for about a day, a day and a half. But mine wasn't too bad. So like not bad, so, so like from like one to 10, um, like one being mild, 10 being horrible, how bad would you say it was? Probably two or three. If one was mild, I'd probably give my arm about a two. About two. I'd go for about eight. Eight? <laughs> okay, that's eight. Quite... Wait, that's really quite an eight? eight? Okay, wow. Well. Did you have any kind of like worries about the safety of the vaccine? Obviously, because it was such a quick process getting it out. No, I mean, I believe that we have a very basic understanding of the development of vaccines. And so um, we can't really comment on the the safety of it. We can just put us, our trust in, in those who have like 
better technology and more understanding of the, the information. No, I have no doubts about the safety of the vaccine at all. I'm just, I just don't think, you know, they would be introducing it to the public, getting it out on such a huge scale if they didn't know it worked, but had these horrible side effects. Mm-hmm. Um, not really, because they wouldn't put the vaccine out if it w- if it was harmful. Um, and I know that they're working like every day and every night. So I had no doubts about it at all. When is your second dose? Like how far were your two do- are your two doses? And do you think that they're too far? Because obviously like they've been ex- it's been extended from three weeks to 12 weeks plus or whatever. Yeah, that is one of my concerns. Um, my, my second dose is on the 8th of April, which is like weeks from now because i got my first dose two two weeks ago so my second dose is going to be um towards the end of march um i'm not really concerned to be fair that the government is just trying to mass vaccinate most people my first dose was about early january and my next dose has been booked for the 13th of march do you feel like safer now that you've had the vaccine or do you think you'll feel like really safe like after you've had the two doses um, I mean, I feel safer because I know that if I do get COVID, it won't be an extreme version and it won't escalate because I mean, you know that you're young, you're healthy. And I mean, I'm lucky enough not to have a, another problem with my immunity. Uh, no, definitely feel a lot more safe now. Um, I mean, it's only 70 to 90 percent effective um, at the moment. And then it's like 96 percent more effect, like effective after the second dose. It's obviously a bit more after the second dose, but still confident now. But either way, I'm not really scared because I'm not a high risk um, patient anyway. Like I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be a high risk, um, so I'm not that worried about getting COVID. Okay. And finally, um, would you encourage people to get the vaccine? Or do you have anything to say to encourage people? Um. Yeah. If you don't want to die, then get the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would just say they would be the testing and the way they have to manufacture vaccines and the amount of stages you have to go through is so rigorous they wouldn't be introducing it into the to the public to people like me people of all ages if if it wasn't safe i believe that if you take the vaccine we are one step closer to getting back to normality so i i I really encourage everyone to uh, put whatever personal beliefs they have to the side and follow the government advice